हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड नॉइस इन ए एम रिसीवर्स हियर लेट अस फाइंड द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ फिगर ऑफ मेरिट फॉर ए एम रिसीवर सो वी विल फॉलो द सेम प्रोसीजर व्हाट वी डिड इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो फर्स्ट वी विल फाइंड द सिग्नल टू नॉइस रेशियो ऑफ चैनल then we will find the signal to noise ratio of output then we will take the ratio of these two parameters to find the figure of merit this figure shows the am receiver with an envelope detector to demodulate the signal s of t is the modulated signal w of t is the white noise that is added to the signal across the channel and s of t plus w of t will be the input to the band pass filter so here you need to remember that w of t is the wide band noise output of band pass filter is x of t that is s of t plus n of t so here the noise is narrow band noise that is represented as n of t now this x of t is given as input to the envelope detector and across the output of envelope detector we are having a capacitor that will block dc component and it will allow only ac component so output of envelope detector will be y of t which will be having the demodulated message signal and demodulated noise signal which are ac components now let us consider m of t which is message signal which is having the average power which is equal to p p is the average power so this can be written as e of m of t square so m of t we know it is am sin 2 pi fmt so this can be written as a m square divided by 2 so average power of message signal is p that is equal to a m square by 2 so if you have carrier signal average power of carrier signal will be a c square by 2 so you need to remember these values so we can consider c of t which is carrier signal therefore we can write c of t is equal to ac cos 2 pi fct so we can consider s of t which is amplitude modulated signal so we can write s of t is equal to ac into 1 plus ka m of t cos 2 pi fct so this is the general expression for am modulated a signal let us take this as equation number 1 now first let us find the channel signal to noise ratio so the a modulated signal is given by the equation 1 first let us find the average power of the a modulated signal s of t so this can be given as e of s of t whole square therefore the average power can be written as e of ac into 1 plus ka m of t cos 2 pi fct whole square so we can write this as e of ac square into 1 plus ka m of t square cos square 2 pi fct so we can rearrange this term we can write e of 1 plus k a m of t square into a c square cos square 2 pi f c t now this value 1 we can write as it is 1 plus so the value of k a square we can write again as it is k a square the average power of message signal is nothing but p 
the average power of the carrier signal we can write it as ac square by 2 so we can write the average power of the modulated signal s of t is equal to 1 plus k a square p into a c square whole divided by 2 let us call this as equation number 2 we know that the average power of noise can be given as n naught w where w is the bandwidth of message signal m of t so using these two equations we can write the signal to noise ratio of channel is equal to average power of modulating signal s of t divided by the average power of noise in message bandwidth if we substitute the above two equations we can write signal to noise ratio of channel is equal to 1 plus k a square p into a c square divided by 2 n naught w so this is the signal to noise ratio of channel let us call this as equation number a now let us find the signal to noise ratio of output if we consider envelope detector in the block diagram input to this envelope detector is x of t which is equal to s of t plus n of t therefore we can write the input to envelope detector is x of t that is equal to s of t plus n of t let us call this as equation number 3 here n of t is narrow band noise in terms of in phase and quadrature component so we can write n of t in terms of in phase and quadrature component as n of t is equal to n i of t cos 2 pi f c t minus n q of t sin 2 pi f c t let us call this as equation number 4 let us substitute equation number 1 that is the expression for s of t and equation number 4 in equation number 3 therefore we can write x of t is equal to a c into 1 plus k a m of t cos 2 pi f c t plus n i of t cos 2 pi f c t minus n q of t sin 2 pi f c t now if we multiply a c with this term we can write x of t is equal to a c plus a c k a m of t cos 2 pi f c t plus n i of t cos 2 pi f c t minus n q of t sin 2 pi f c t let us take cos 2 pi f c t as common in these two terms therefore we can write x of t is equal to a c plus a c k a m of t plus n i of t into cos 2 pi f c t minus n q of t sin 2 pi f c t let us call this as equation number 5 now this is the signal that is given as input to the envelope detector so at the envelope detector it will consider only the envelope of the signal and carrier signals will be eliminated that's why we can write the output of envelope detector is y of t that will be equal to square root of a c plus a c k a m of t 
plus n i of t whole square plus n q square of t here let us take this first term as a and the second term as b now we can write the above equation as square root of a square plus b square so from the above equation we can understand that the value of a is very much greater than b so if the value of a is very much greater than b this value we can write it as square root of a square so that will be approximately equal to a so why we have written this because the value of a is very much greater than the value of b that's why we can neglect this value and we have written this as square root of a square so square root of a square will be approximately equal to a therefore y of t will be equal to ac plus ac k a m of t plus n i of t so here this is the dc component so this is the signal component and this is the noise component so when this signal is passed through a capacitor so the capacitor will block the dc component and it will allow other ac component so that's why when y of t is passed through a capacitor then this term will be eliminated and we'll get the remaining terms so we can say the output of capacitor is y of t is equal to a c k a m of t plus n i of t so this is the demodulated message signal and this is the demodulated noise now if you find the average power of demodulated signal so we can write this as e of so we are considering this term so it will be a c square k a square m of t square so it will be a c square k a square m of t square we can write a c square as it is a c square k a square as it is the average power of message signal is p so that's why we'll write a c square k a square into p now we can find the average power of demodulated noise so here the average power of demodulated noise will be twice that of the average power of input noise we know input noise power is n not w so if you multiply this with 2 it will be 2 n not w so the signal to noise ratio of output will be equal to the ratio of average power of demodulated signal to the average power of noise so it will be equal to a c square k a square into p divided by 2 n not w so let us take this as equation number b so finally we can find the figure of merit that can be given as signal to noise ratio of output divided by signal to noise ratio of channel so signal to noise ratio of output is a c square k a square p divided by 2 n not w whole divided by a c square into 1 plus k a square p divided by 2 n not w so we can cancel out these two terms also we can cancel out a c square so we can write this equation as k a square p divided by 1 plus k a square p so in the first part of derivation we have taken p is equal to am square by 2 so if we substitute this value in the above equation so figure of merit will be equal to k a square am square by 2 whole divided by 1 plus k a square a m square by 2 since mu is equal to k a a m which is modulation index of a m wave we can write this equation as mu square divided by 
होल डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस म्यू स्क्वायर बाय टू सो वी कैन राइट दिस हैज म्यू स्क्वायर बाय टू होल डिवाइडेड बाय टू प्लस म्यू स्क्वायर होल डिवाइडेड बाय टू वी कैन कैंसल आउट दिस टू टर्म्स सो वील गेट फिगर ऑफ मेरिट इज इक्वल टू म्यू स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय टू प्लस म्यू स्क्वायर so this is the figure of merit of am wave this is about noise in am receiver hope you have understood the topic thank you